Hey everybody, not sure how well you guys can hear me with the road in the background, but I thought a good idea for the group would be to uh, post some videos of some stuff that we know how to do fairly well that might be able to uh, help other group members out. So something that I'm going to do is um, another prepper that I knew showed me a pretty cool fire starting trick, uh, and it actually has multiple uses. What I have here is just a peanut butter jar washed out and I basically went to the dollar store and I bought some cotton balls and some Vaseline and all I did was dip the cotton balls into the Vaseline and I filled the jar up with it. It's a pretty inexpensive way to make fire starting and I'm going to show you how well it works if you guys haven't had seen this already. So what I have is just a regular flint and a really cheap, cheap, cheap survival knife that was probably like seven bucks I think not the best investment ever but I'm gonna see if I can get on video how well this actually works it's pretty hard to do I only have two hands Okay, and as you can see, that lit pretty well with just a couple strikes on, a, on the flint. And as you can see, it's pretty hard to put out, too. Okay, so I just showed you guys how easy that is to light with, that's, and that's just a cheap flint that I bought at the store for like a dollar or two, and a really cheap survival knife. I got another one out just to show you guys how long one of these can burn. So I'm going to put the camera down really quick, just long enough to light it again. Okay, my flint's not working that well now for some reason, so I'll just show you guys how easy you can light with just a regular cigarette lighter, okay? Okay, and I'm not going to film for the entire time of how long this thing can stay lit, but it's pretty impressive. Um, I've seen them stay lit for about 10-15 minutes, and that's just with the cotton ball. No tinder or fuel whatsoever other than the cotton ball, okay? So, another thing I said is that these actually, believe it or not, have multiple uses. Like I said, um, I used Vaseline for them, and if you were out in a bug out situation and you had chapped lips, you know, you could use this, that for lip balm. Um, if you had just a scratch or anything like that, you could use that also to help fight any, any, um, infections that would come onto it from a scratch. And, I mean, they also have other medicinal purposes, depending on what you want to use them for, but that's just three uses right there that that has, and that's extremely lightweight, very easy and cheap to make, and, like, Look at how look at how bad that thing's going right now. I mean, it's just one cotton ball with Vaseline on it. So, I mean, it's very lightweight, very easy to make, very cheap to make. It doesn't take a lot of room in your bug out bag. And I mean, I just think it's a very good thing to have in your bug out bag. 
like I said, I started it with a flint the first time. The flint wasn't really cooperating the second time, but, I mean, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the video, and thanks for watching. And I'd also like to thank all the members for joining just again. Um, I'd like to see something like this happen more often, people posting videos of things that they know how to do fairly well to share with other people. So, thanks for watching.